Okay, this video is going to show and demonstrate my Model 1 hard drive adapter project. So, for this project, we've got my Model 1 TRS 80 computer. Here it is. We've got my Radio Shack hard drive. And we've got my original Radio Shack hard disk adapter disconnected and my own reproduction one it's very hard to see there get a focus on it but there it is connected to my model one so it's got the same electronics in that as this has in that and adapts TRS-80 model one to a Radio Shack hard drive so let's see it work first we'll turn on our hard drive and let it spin up there it is green light on we next turn on our expansion interface and our model one wait for the floppy drive to stop this is my boot disk for the hard disk system Put it in the drive and press reset. Once the date, today's date is July 17th, 2013. Time we won't worry about. And we're given the LDOS ready and our hard drive and everything is all running do a device list drive 0, 1, 2 and 3 are hard disk volumes drive 4 and 5 are the floppy drive volumes so there you have it a Model 1 TRS-80 connected to a Radio Shack hard disk drive using hard disk adapter um, uh, which is a reproduction of the Radio Shack hard drive adapter which has been out of production for some 30 years now. Power down the system, take out any floppy disks Turn off the keyboard, turn off the expansion, turn off the hard drive. So I'll just show you this board here, this adapter of mine. Two transistors, two resistors, and a cable. You can plug in either a card edge connector or a 50 pin IDC connector on the long bus along there. There's a picture of the underside of it. So, if you're after one of these, I'm going to sell them as a completely assembled unit, tested, ready for any person who has a Model 1 computer and a Radio Shack hard drive. Yeah, make a nice little addition to your Model 1. So, that's the end of my video. Hard drive adapter for the Model 1. Thanks for watching.